What is up, people? Today, let's talk about salaries in the game industry. A lot of people ask me, Rahul, which is the best role if you want to get a high salary? And in which role can you get what kind of salary? People want to be game designers, people want to be game artists, people want to be game programmers, game testers, and they don't know about salaries, how to get the highest salary. And in this video, you're going to know all about this stuff. And if you wait till the end, I have a special piece of information for you that is going to make you very, very happy. So let's go. Okay, so now let's talk about the basic kind of roles that are in the game industry, which you might probably know, but I'll go over them quickly once again. Firstly, you have game designers. Game designers are the ones who come up with the ideas of the game. What is the game? How does the game play? What is the game play? What is the story? What are the mechanics? What are the controls? All that kind of thing. This is what game designers do. Secondly, you have game artists. Game artists create all the art. They create the characters, the props, uh, the environments, you know, the clouds, the trees, the sky, the UI, the animations, everything. This is what game artists do. And lastly, second lastly, you have the programmers. The programmers write all the that brings everything together if you click on the space bar the character jumps if you click on this button the weapon changes etc like entire functionality of the game is actually created by the programmers and lastly you have the testers the testers are the ones that actually test the game to make sure that it's working the way it tends to be they play the game again and again and again they find bugs they report it to the programmers the artists the designers and then they improve the game so these are the four general roles now the most when talking about salaries, there are a few factors that you need to keep in mind. Firstly, guys, remember that the most important factor for salary is not even role. It is skill level. I have seen people joining the game industry at an entry level. I've seen artists joining with 14 lakh rupees a year. Trust me. And I have seen programmers joining with four to five lakh rupees a year. So the most important factors to remember is not role, but skill level. And that's one factor because if you are at a very, very good skill level, if you know your stuff, you've made games before, you have actually built a project in a group, you have a good portfolio, and if you can com convince the game studio that your skill level is such that you can actually start working on the game as soon as you join, then you're going to join at a much higher salary level than someone who's just a beginner. Remember that. Second most important thing, is the kind of studio that you join. Larger studios, established game studios, which are funded, are gonna have a much higher salary level. So for example, Play Simple will offer a much higher salary level than a, like a indie game studio, which is four or five people or a startup with five or 10 people, right? So that is also a very, very important factor. Considering these factors, I'm gonna now tell you what are the general salary levels for beginners for the same kind of studio and for the same level of salary. So the highest as of today, 2023, generally what I have seen is that the highest salary level it is reserved for game designers. This is what I have seen people be placed from game to maker. Because remember, at this point, game designers are in great demand. The demand for game designers is quite high because there is a shortage in the market. This could change a little bit later on, but game designers have a much, it's not much, a slightly higher entry level salary than game programmers. Game programmers have a slightly lower levels uh, compared in the market right now. And then of course you have game artists. So what is a good starting salary joining good studio? Now for a game designer, a good salary at a game studio joining as a training game designer is around five to six lakh rupees. For a programmer, again, it's around four to five lakh rupees. And for a game artist, I would say it's four to five lakh rupees at a joining level without actually working somewhere else. So the students Gamer to Maker, when they finish Gamer to Maker, they finish one year of the diploma program. What happens is that they already have experience. They've already been working on a game. They have a finished game in a group which is portfolio. So they tend to get slightly higher salary. They tend to get like one to two lakh rupees more than the average market. But if you're joining just by yourself, you've been working by yourself or you've been, you know, going to some random game college and you don't really have a good portfolio, you don't have a finished group game project, you can get slightly is lower salary than this. This is the most important thing. But lastly, the one thing I'm going to tell you, and this is the most important thing, guys, do not make a decision about what role to choose on the basis of salary. And I'll tell you why. Because it's very simple. I'll give you a comparison. 
a fish may say, you know what, I actually like to fly, but a fish can't fly because a fish's nature is actually to swim in the sea. So similarly, you can't really make a decision about which role to take up, whether it's art or design or programming on the basis of what salary you're going to get. It has to be on the basis of your aptitude. So it's possible that you may be someone who's quite logical, who's quite systematic. For them, being a game programmer makes a lot more sense. And if they are a game programmer, they'll do well, they'll rise fast because the role that they have chosen is actually compatible with who they are and their aptitude. Now, for example, if you're an, if you if your aptitude is for art, you like sketching, you like drawing, you are more imaginative, you know, you've been doing that sort of thing and you say, okay, you know what, programmers get a higher salary, I think I'm going to be a programmer, that probably is not going to work because the skill set and the aptitude for a game programmer is very, very different from that of a game designer, similar uh, from a gay artist. Similarly, for a game designer, the particular skill set is that you need to have good communication skills. You need to have played lots of games. Your English needs to be reasonably good. You have need to have good documentation skills and things like that. You need to have a little bit of an art knowledge, you need to have a little bit of coding knowledge. So it's like a more all round thing. So if that is your kind of skill set, then being a game designer is probably the best choice. And if you choose the role which is aligned with your preference and your aptitude, then you're going to go much further. You're going to go much faster. Your salary is going to increase. You're going to get more promotions. You're going to do better and better. So please do not make a decision about joining the game industry based on what you hear about people talking about salaries, okay? Lastly, I want to talk about game testing. Now, game testing is actually the secret backdoor into the game industry. I know many, many people who have joined the game industry as testers because as a tester, you don't really need experience. You just need to play video games. People join as a tester. Admittedly, the salaries are not very high. The salaries are quite low. You could be getting like 10,000, 3,000 rupees a month when you join as a tester, even at a big company. But there is a possibility that you may actually get into game design. You may actually get into game art. You may actually get into game programming. Through that back door, you can enter a studio and then later on, you can show your skills and actually become one of these roles. Or you can even stay a game tester. Game tester, in the game testing, you can rise, you can become lead tester. You can actually rise up as a game tester. Game testing is a very, very important role and you can actually have a very, very good salary if you become like a lead tester or whatever in these companies. So don't discount testing. Testing is a really, really good way to join the game industry and very, very good in its own right, okay? So thanks guys, if you have any comments, if you have any questions, just put them in the comments. Do let me know what kind of videos you want me to make, what kind of content you want, and I will see you in the next one. So let's go.